Accelerate Long Island is really the first of its kind regional economic development organization focused on two goals. First is to commercialize research at the major research institutions on Long Island. And the second is to build the entrepreneurial ecosystem here on Long Island so that we can create really exciting startup companies based on technology. Well, our main founders are the major research institutions. So Brookhaven National Lab, Stony Brook University, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, North Shore LIJ Health System and their Feinstein Institute, the medical school at Hofstra and North Shore LIJ. And then you have private partners like the LIA, uh, CA Technologies, law firms, accounting firms, and some local uh, venture capital funds. Everybody wants to be the next Silicon Valley, or on the East Coast, the next Route 128 in Boston, or even New York City. Um, you know, it's very tough to replicate those ecosystems, those areas, but when you have research and really smart people, and people that want to start up companies, you can create a semblance of those ecosystems and create economic activity. The core mission is to focus on homegrown companies on great research ideas that are percolating within our research institutions, building businesses around those ideas, and then launching those businesses and getting them funded and getting them started. We focus on three sectors, so IT, biotech, and energy. We're actually talking about getting involved in a fourth sector, which we call food tech, which is more east end oriented, the wineries and the brew pubs and all that stuff. <laughs> There are certain communities that startup entrepreneurs seem to like. The Huntington Cold Spring Harbor Quarter, right up on Route 125A, you're seeing a lot of entrepreneurial density there, um, and a lot of really interesting ideas coming right now out of Cold Spring Harbor Labs. So there, that's an interesting little quarter. Uh, there's the launch pad in Mineola, which is incubating startup companies as we speak. There's Canrock Ventures in Hicksville, which is doing the same thing. And then the fourth is really uh, the area around Stony Brook University, Fort Jefferson, that area. There's a really nice cluster of companies with on the campus of Stony Brook or right nearby. What are your metrics that define whether or not you're successful? I think right now we're at a stage in our ecosystem where we're really just talking about the number of companies. We're well over 100 uh, and th that number seems to grow on an almost daily basis. The next, I think, metric is really uh, the amount of funding that we're able to attract for those companies, whether it be seed angel or uh, venture capital. And then the third metric is ultimately uh, jobs, job creation. Um, I think that's a little bit elusive right now. I think we have to focus on the number of companies and the number of venture capital. But I think the most important metric, the most important number is a small number, and that's the number of big time successes. If you look at any ecosystem that is fairly mature, they track their success back to one or two or three companies that really hit it big. We've had that historically. I mean, we've had CA and Symbol, and we had Grumman years ago, and we've laid down a track record to show we can do it, but I think we have to do it in the new economy, and we have to prove that we can be competitive with other ecosystems in the country. On Long Island, I'm pretty excited about the biotech sector in general and particularly uh, subsectors like bioinformatics where, where you have a lot of activity coming out of Cold Spring Harbor and, and Stony Brook. That's kind of the merger of molecular biology and software. Uh, on the east end, we have some advantages when it comes to food tech. Um, and of course, you have the energy research taking place at Brookhaven Lab, the energy center, uh, and a wonderful incubator, the clean energy incubator at, at Stony Brook. So I think that people need to understand that we need to leverage these assets, these institutions, so that we can get nationwide, if not international, exposure for what we're, what we're trying to do here on Long Island.